sprawling Kibra slums in Nairobi County. Here, it's rare to find a locality without either a teenage mother or a pregnant teenager. We meet 20-year-old Christabel Angindo at her humble abode. She tells us that she first got pregnant at the age of 17, carried the pregnancy through all the hardship life threw at her, including being chased from her guardian's home and eventually losing her child. Almost 11 months. And I was scanning. When I scanning, I was told that I was going to be able to get my child. I was going to get my child. I was going to get my child. I was going to get and since she was already living with her boyfriend and were both sexually active, family planning was the next only option. With no clear guidelines on administration of family planning to teenagers, most of them visit their nearest local pharmacy to get any form of contraception they can afford. The situation is not different for 18-year-old Sylvia Mwangi, not her real name who is now a mother to an 11-month-old boy. As a young mother, life has not been easy for her. Kupata pampas, nishida, pesa ya nini? Her compatriot Christabel Angindo, who is pregnant at the moment, tells us that the trauma of losing a child and seeing her peers have their children led her to want to get pregnant again. We sought to know what goes on at the pharmacy when a teenager comes here seeking for contraceptives. Wengine wanakuja na consent ya wasasi, wengine wanakuja tu kivyao, but mostly wanakuja na wasasi. So before kabila tujianza kuwapatia hizi, lazima tuwaeleze. Mimi mimi kama mimi kama daktari wana wanakalisha na wanafanyia counseling na waeleza all the available family planning na dangers. Evelyn Awoche is a community health volunteer. All her and like-minded people can do is door to door campaigns speaking to the girls to at least change their minds. Tunawaambia umuhimu wa kungoja na pia kwa wale wenye ambao wameanza Parents saying the situation is quickly getting out of hand despite their efforts to provide for their children both mentally, emotionally and materially. Wamaliza masomo kwanza, mapenzi ni baadaye. Lakini wasichana siku hizi wengine wasiki. Kuna wenye wanataka pesa, kuna wenye saingine kwa nyumba hakuna chakula. Iyo inaweza affect juu kama hapa kwangu nasema na jidaiti hata nilikuwa nawapea pesa hata nilikuwa nawapaia nguo kila kitu contraception consent sexual orientation and abortion are not part of the school curriculum this being a major setback in ending teenage pregnancies in the country sai adi msichana uko class 7 utapata ameshika bola mimi ningetaka tu hao watu wa gava wange wange Currently, statistics show that 21%, which counts for 300,017,644 and of all teen pregnancies are among adolescents aged 10 to 19. The painful reality, further, is that one out of every three mothers attending an antenatal clinic is an adolescent aged 10 to 19. Kwa kelezo kwa undani, tunezapata kamas a minister of health. 
na uh, education wafanye kazi kwa pamoja wale venye wanaweza waelimisha It is evident that sex education has been left entirely for young people to explore. However, with the rise of number of teenage pregnancies, there is a need to reintroduce sex education in schools to reduce the number of teenage pregnancies. Robi Omondi K24 in Kibra, Nairobi County.